Let's have an open conversation today about weaves. Ask yourself this question. Why do you wear weaves? Why do you wear wigs? Why do you hair, wear extensions that are not even close to your natural hair texture? I just need to have this open conversation because I think a lot of our women are straying back to this weaves thing. Um, I do believe that in 2020, when there was the when we, when had, we had the, the COVID nineteen, everybody was going natural. But it seems it seems like right now everybody's going back to the weaves, and I hate to say this, like. When I look at those African videos, because I'm from Africa, I'm going to tell it like it is. When I see those videos of our sisters wearing those long 22 inch, 25 inch hair in that hot summer sun. I mean, it's constantly hot in these areas. Why do you have that thick hair? Head of hair that's not even yours. You don't even know where it came from. You don't know where, what under what conditions it was under before it got to you. These are things you have to understand. These things carry different people's DNAs in it. You have no clue what these things are carrying, carrying in them. It's very important for us to have this dialogue and try to understand. Let's try to understand what is the fascination with other people's hair from their head to your head. Have you thought about spiritual connections to these weaves? on your head. These things are a form of idolatry. And a lot of people don't want to talk about it because they're scared it might get a backlash. But if you serve the one true God, Yahweh, there's no way you should be wearing stuff like this because it's a form of idolatry. There are spiritual connections to these things. So it's very important for us to have these conversations. So I'm going to touch a little bit on this subject because it's been going on for years and it seems like we're still overly obsessed with other women's hair on our head. That's scary. Some women call it protective styling. Some women say, well, I'm trying to give my hair a break. Some women say, well, my hair is too hard to, 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 to maneuver through. Um, learn how to take care of your hair. It's on your head for a reason. Don't worry about other races of people and what they think about you. Ultimately, it's about you. You need to understand how to take care of your own personal, beautiful hair. What's the point of trying to conform to something that's not you? I mean, it's it breaks my heart because every time I turn on the TV and and the internet, I am blown away at how many of us are still hooked on this weaves. 22 inch, 20 inch, 18 inch, lace fronts, I mean wigs, but then you have hair that you don't even take care of and it's so dry and brittle and you start to lose your edges and then you come later on and say, oh my God, my hair is breaking off. What do I do? You have to take proper care of what God has given you. Stop falling for this ideology of other people's standard of beauty. You are beautiful without all this fake hair. There are so many things attached to these things in the spiritual realm that there's so many devices that the, the satanic people use to get to you. And if you don't believe me, I will advise you to pray about it. And ask God to show you these signs. Okay. Because Chris Rock has done a video on this. And I don't even think he's that spiritual. But he got so deep into it. And went to India. And he saw women sacrificing their hairs to their gods. Their gods. That's a form of idolatry. So please. You have to do a better research. On how this hair is coming to you. And stop wearing these weaves. Bye.